When I first saw the castle, I was like, I want to study here. Having a classroom where they are teaching you the thing that you love, and they are teaching your passion, I think is the best fit. You can have a family, you can have a job, and you can still do the full program and do it pretty much at your own speed. It also allowed for a novel writing track, which is fairly unique for uh, an MFA program. And so I was able to write a novel and even have a full novel critiqued in the, writing, the novel writing track. Um, the flexibility of it, um, the variety of courses, there are so many special specializations that you can choose. Um, novel writing, poetry, creative nonfiction, and you're not locked into, if you pick a specialization, you can take courses outside of that. There's a ton of flexibility to you know, suit whatever your interests are in any genre. The readings are great for community building. You know, after you leave the program, you know, you kind of, everybody has their jobs and families and lives and we're trying to work at being writers. So, um, you know, it's a great opportunity to kind of come back and see everybody, see where their work is. And um, you know, just kind of have that community of writers everybody needs because it's you know, something you're kind of doing in isolation. I came in with a novel already written. Um, that novel did end up being my thesis, but it's wildly different. Uh, in the thesis draft from where it started when I came into the program. And uh, that was due to both the work in the novel workshop where we were able to workshop an entire novel with a class and, uh, and because of the work with my thesis advisor. Um, but I also started writing more very short fiction and uh, wrote quite a few flash pieces that ended up getting published and, uh, and found that I really enjoy that genre more than I thought I would. I'm Carla's graduate assistant and it's given me a lot of cool opportunities um, going to the readings each month and I got to have dinner with the New York Times best-selling author and going to workshops and it's just been a really cool opportunity to get to kind of see behind the scenes and also get some neat opportunities I wouldn't otherwise have. It is truly an amazing program. I've been going around boasting to everyone that I just completed my first semester and I can't believe how much the past three months have changed my life and that I'm so glad I took the plunge and did it. It's really cool to have like the the shoulders of experienced writers and and people within the publishing industry to to stand on. The people and the faculty, everyone is really cool here and very friendly, open-minded. Nobody is judgmental. Everyone listens and offers great criticism. The most rewarding part was actually not uh, the being a part of the semester, it was the Writer Studio program that I did and it was an amazing experience. Uh, that was my first ever creative writing class that I did and I learned so much and that's why I switched to the double degree program recently. The professors are amazing, they, 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 they are so awesome because they've taught me so much so far. It's it's been an amazing journey. Well, uh, I teach poetry in the Rosemont Writer Studio, which are uh, non-credit courses that they started offering uh, this fall. Uh, it's a, a really great way for people either in the community or people who have finished their MFA and their, their writing studies but want to stay in a workshop and, and continue learning and, and improving themselves as writing. I think the first time that I came to Rosemont was for a uh, uh, a conference or event and the, the campus is is gorgeous and it's it's got this this kind of community feel to it I guess that's the size plus the old stone buildings that, that makes you think you're you know that 
you know you're at a college. I am a writer and I have written um, two novels, Beauty of the Broken and The Long Ride Home. Both are young adult novels and also a poetry collection, Siren Song. I live on the road. Um, I have been traveling for the last three years, so Rosemont has been one of the most beautiful stops on my journey. I would say there is no better program than Rosemont. I love Rosemont, and I have I do teach. I travel, and when I travel, I'm usually teaching at various um, universities and programs, and I have never found a program that is comparable to Rosemont. There is something so special about this place. These kids are learning things that I don't know and I've been in the industry for years and I wish I would have come here and learned all of it before I dived in and learned the hard way. So, As far as a Master's of Fine Arts and Creative Writing, there's not a lot of schools that offer that program it just in, in, the, in the nation um, and Rosemont had such a small community that seemed supportive of writers that um, after hearing about their summer writing retreats on NPR, I just thought it seems like a great community to be a part of. I'm the managing editor of Rathala Review this school year. Um, I served as fiction editor for maybe a year and a half and assistant fiction editor for another couple semesters. So I've been with Rathala since I've been here. I came to this program to become a better writer, plain and simple. Well, Carla is amazing. Um, Carla Spataro is our MFA director. He's completely on your team. She treats every student like they're the only student in the program, and I think that's really what um, gives this program so much value, her leadership, honestly. I am the MFA uh, in Creative Writing Program Director here at Rosemont College. I just love being in the classroom. I love talking about books. I love talking about writing. I love the energy that that creates when everybody is sort of working together and thinking about the same kind of problem and uh, you know how to get to the other side of it. Um, that it just is really invigorating. It's really stimulating. I don't know. I mean that sounds maybe kind of cliche but I just I really love that. One of the great advantages of what we do have here at Rosemont is that in addition to our terrific MFA in creative writing program, we also have a really terrific MA in publishing program. And we do offer a double degree, which is kind of unique uh, in the country where students can come and do both degrees simultaneously for fewer credits than it would take to do each one individually, which is great. And we have quite a few double degree students uh, in the program right now. Because the easy part is writing your book. The hard part is selling it, so it's good. I think we really do focus on that that publishing piece as well. It's not just not just you know becoming a better writer, but then also taking that next step and figuring out how to put your work out into the world. And we've had some really terrific um, successes. Recently, I just had a ten minute play um, produced at Second City Training Center in Chicago. So, uh, my novel Owl Eyes, which was my thesis, is being published by a, uh, an independent press called Fire and Ice YA, and it's coming out sometime this spring. So. The dream is, of course, you know, to publish books and to be an author, but really just to make a difference with my writing and write stuff that means something to people. I want to do work that inspires and influences my community. I'm an artist now. I design a lot of stuff. Uh, so my my goals and the uh, the ultimate goal is to publish a children's book someday.